loops are very important for any program and we have covered for loop and for each loop in previous videos now it is time to learn one more loop and this loop is going to be while loop the main logic behind while loop is that if you are having a condition and you want to execute some piece of code until that condition is true then you can use while loop let's learn the concept of while loop with a very basic example let's just remove this console try turn method and over here first let's talk about the basic syntax of while loop so here we have a reserve keyword which is while and after writing this while keyword you have to provide a parenthesis and then a body in this parenthesis you have to provide a condition and remember just like we are having the condition in if block where the output of that condition must be boolean value in the same way we can also write a condition over here and until that value is true whatever we write inside the body of this while loop that code will be executed for example let's say here i'm having this n variable and the default value of this n is 0 here i'm writing the logic if n is less than 5 until this condition is true this while loop will work so here let's say i'm writing this console dot write line and over here i'm writing hello this is a string so we have to use double quotes that's it so what we are doing we have defined one variable which is a type of integer and the name is n and the value is zero here we are checking while this n is less than five it means this n which is 0 is less than 5 so this condition is true we will get this output after running this code the execution will again come back to this while loop and here it will check the condition and because we are not making any change in the value of n so it means this is going to be an infinite loop let's try this so here i'm just clicking on this run application over here you can notice we are having so many hello there messages and here you can notice on the scroll bar there are n number of them this is going to be an infinite loop right you can also fall down in the infinite loop if you are having kind of true thing over here like this so because this condition is true always so this is going to be an infinite loop now let's make some changes in this program and let's deal with some real situations so over here let's say after displaying this value i'm making some change in the value of this n so what we are doing we are checking this condition and we are just increasing it by one over here let's run it this time this time you will notice we are having only one two three four and five messages over here we can also display the value of n over here like this just run it again and this time you will notice we are having zero one two three and four perfect this is the main concept behind this while loop but if you will notice this while loop very carefully then you will see that there is some similarity with the for loop what is that similarity first let's create a for loop over here and let's just copy this similar line over here what we are doing this is going to be i like this so let's just compare both of them over here what we are doing we are having an initial value we are also having an initial value over here right then we are having the condition perfect we are also having the condition over here and we are making some change in this iteration value which is the n we are also doing the same thing over here you know from the previous videos that i can also write it over here like this all we need in the for loop is this semicolon so this semicolon is mandatory but you can declare the value outside this for loop if i'm taking this i plus plus from here and put it over here like this then you can notice both of them are looking same the only difference is that over here in the for loop we have to write two extra semicolons otherwise there is no difference in between their syntax both of them will execute in the same way so here you can use any one of them based on your need there is one very important concept that you need to learn about this while loop is that if this condition is false in the beginning then this code will not work even at single time this code whatever you have written inside the body of this while loop this will be executed only and only if this condition is true and until this condition is true this code will always execute that is the main logic behind this while loop there is nothing fancy it is very very simple so you can use this while loop in your code and we generally use it in our code that is all in the video thank you for watching